What is up, plant nerds? I uh, wanted to do a little quick video on some really cool plants that we've got. Uh, Ashley and I have been collecting them for the past two years now. And um, pretty rare. They're the Monstera Deliciosa Albo. Uh, she and I got lucky enough at a few auctions to buy a couple of them. And so, of course, I chopped them up so that we can have some available for sale soon. Um, but I've been learning a lot during the process. So, again, wanted to just do a video to show you guys the plants, of course, and what I've learned during the process. So, uh, we're going to walk in the greenhouse here in just a second. I started the video out here, though, because the birds will pretty sure like normal when I'm on the phone or trying to record they'll be squawking and the fans are kind of loud in there too so uh, let's walk in I'll show you guys the uh, the albos and also recently actually I drove and drove and drove for hours and uh, got some other really nice rare house plants one including this ginormous Thai constellation monstera that I'll show you guys in just a second so let's walk in and uh, we'll see how loud the birds get And recently, uh, during my COVID quarantine, I had time to clean the greenhouse up a little bit. So it's actually kind of clean in here. We pressure washed the floor, cleaned up all the corners. Uh, here's um, some really cool plants that we found during our most recent travels. I haven't learned the name of all of them yet, so I'm not even gonna try because I'll just butcher it. Um, although, I do know these because these are mint monstera adesonii. So really stoked to be able to have this plant. I've got two of them, just was able to buy nodes. Um, they look kind of puny right now, but they're coming along. Uh, I've got a couple other varieties of monstera. Uh, forget the name of this one. It's not an obliqua, maybe Esqueleto Monstera. I can't remember to be honest, but I really like that one. The holes are cool. Uh, and again, I can't remember all the names, but got some neat stuff that we'll be able to have for sale at Grassroots at the retail center, hopefully here in the near future. But check this out. Look at the size of this leaf on this Monstera Deliciosa Thai constellation. Isn't that crazy? thing is huge we got it from a lady up in uh, North Carolina and luckily didn't tear it up getting it home because it barely wanted to fit in the truck but look at the size of these leaves y'all isn't that crazy and the new one just unfurled it's almost a half moon uh, just unfurled like yesterday it's really hadn't finished unfolding all the way but Fenestrations are really awesome in this this plant, so really really excited to uh, to have this guy. Look at the stalk variegation on the stalk. This is a good one. This was a, a really rare rare find, so I had to have it. And here's one of the mother albos. So you can see the difference between the Thai constellation with the gold variegation versus the albo has almost a pure white variegation and it's more i guess camouflage like variegation form versus the constellation <clears throat> which of course looks like kind of stars and just kind of splattered on the leaf but i found this old cool piece of driftwood down in beaufort south carolina floating and it's hollow so i took and planted this elbow inside the tree and i'm gonna let it just climb on up it's got its aerial roots going up and it's just gonna hopefully climb all the way to the to the top <clears throat> excuse me here's uh some more of the mother plants this was ashley's first our, our first elbow a uh, really nice nice plant these have some superior variegation. I mean, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Uh, here's a little Thai constellation. So um, I'll probably 
take some cuttings off of that guy here in the future but be very limited supply on the on the ties but we will have more a lot more elbows available here soon we've got a little wait list right now um, so if you're interested in these guys then we definitely want to get your name on that list pretty soon especially since I'm making this video this one is uh, very minimally variegated you see here so what I did I took some cuttings off of it <clears throat> excuse me sorry I can't clear my throat and um, I cut on a portion of the stem that had a little more variegation than the rest of the stem so hopefully that will result in more variegation in the actual leaf but that's just something I'm kind of experimenting with um, this one's a good example so this guy had a lot of variegation on him and you can see that the leaf coming out is got a lot of white to it so hopefully that'll be a nice highly variegated plant when it gets done doing its thing here's another one with uh, you know I would call minimal some Spanish moss that's falling down on him <clears throat> but it's got some nice patterns showing up you can see there kind of some white striping on that on that stem um, but the thing that I've been learning and what I'm we're gonna go inside in a minute and I'm gonna show you uh, so we'll be standing next to this loud fan but the thing I'm learning is that you have to have an auxiliary bud on the node cutting in order to get a plant without that node then you're just gonna have a leaf forever and ever until the leaf dies and then more than likely the entire plant will die too so there's a good many of the elbow cuttings that we've got rooting and I'm gonna grab a few and we're gonna go inside where it's a little more quiet and uh, I can show you guys that auxiliary bud and some node cuttings and show you guys what I've learned Here's another mother, uh, got a new leaf coming out there. Uh, sold the first and only cutting that I've sold so far off of this plant. It was a top cutting. Uh, the guy here locally bought it and it's just got beautiful variegation to it. It's a really pretty plant. So this is the new leaf that just opened not too long ago. And now we've got two more uh, leaves shooting up. So let me grab a few of these guys and we'll uh, go back inside. So I've selected a couple of the cuttings in various stages of development just to kind of show you guys, um, you know, the difference and kind of the stages in the process and the uh, changes that the cutting will go through in order to form a whole new plant. So this is uh, the top cutting, which is referred, referred to, uh, so this is the very top growing portion of the plant um, this would be called the apical meristem um, because it is the, the top like i said so you can kind of see and i said wrong out there in the greenhouse that auxiliary but it's axillary bud and i had to call my botanist friend and ask him because i didn't know what the correct pronunciation was but um, he said that the axle is the base of the leaf where it attaches to the stem and so that makes this little guy right here this little raised bump if you can see it that is the axillary bud and if we don't have one of those then we're kind of screwed because I've seen folks sell node cuttings uh, which the, the node is um, this right here is basically where the where the leaf attaches. Um, so if it doesn't have the axillary bud, then it doesn't have a grow point and it's not gonna do anything. But I have heard horror stories of people paying lots of money for node cuttings that don't have axillary bud and then you pretty much don't have anything. So you uh, might wanna double check if you're buying cuttings, make sure that they can show you that axillary bud. Uh, I can show you a better one on this guy here who's a little bit further further along down the road. 
Let me turn him so you can see. You can see that he's busted wide open. So this is where the new stem is, is coming out right now out of that bud. And so the stem will continue to grow, continue to grow, and then it'll form a leaf. And uh, that will be your new uh, growing point uh, of the plant. And it'll just continue on and on and on and make more nodes and make more leaves, hopefully. Uh, you can see the variegation all the way into the stem, into the petiole. And that's what you really want to look for is variegation in the actual stem because that kind of dictates, you know, what the leaf's going to look like and how much variegation you're going to have in your plant. We, uh, we don't want too much variegation to where the leaf is all white. If we have that, then, um, you know, the plant is kind of doomed because it has to have the green um, chlorophyll in order to do photosynthesis and, uh, you know, feed itself and be able to continue to grow. So although the variegation is beautiful, uh, and it's a rarity in the plant world, it's also kind of useless to the plant because it can't help um, do anything. It can't, can't provide food for the plant to continue to grow. So although it's really pretty, we can't have all, all white. We gotta have some green in there too. Um, and variegation really is a, is a genetic mutation either sometimes caused by a virus I've read or sometimes, you know, just the plant gets genetically jacked up inside and, uh, and produces the, the variegation. But in the plant world, anything that is mutated or rare, um, and I'm sorry, if it's mutated, makes it, makes it rare. And then, of course, everybody wants it like this guy. Uh, let's see, this one here, look at the roots on this guy. He is just gone absolutely nuts. So this is your aerial root, the dark one here. And the aerial root the plant uses to attach itself, usually to a tree in the wild, uh, and kind of hang on and climb up. But I've had them also in the greenhouse. You know, They didn't have anything to climb. They went down to the floor, and they'll actually start to uptake moisture to help the plant. So kind of a multi-use uh, root for sure. But all of these are gonna, all of these aerial roots are gonna be our future terrestrial roots because we're gonna plant that whole, whole guy. Let's see if we can find the node on him. Yeah, pretty easily, huh? Right there, you see it raised up. And so that's our new stem coming out right there. Um, and so, of course, like I showed you on the top cutting here, that's our top cutting. And then you move down and you simply cut above and below the node. And that is a node cutting. Here's a little better example, a little shorter. So this guy was growing just like that. And we've cut him above and below. Now, when our new growth comes out. And there's a pretty cool looking axillary bud. That can, you can kind of see that oval shaped knot right there. So when he comes out, then uh, he'll continue to grow up. We're gonna plant pretty much the whole node uh, down in the dirt. And then he'll take over and form our new plant that'll continue to, to grow up. And once they have enough roots, in my opinion, that's, that's not enough roots. I like to wait until they start getting lateral roots, which are basically roots off of roots. This one's ready. He's ready to be planted. So I'm going to plant him pretty much just like that so that this bud can go straight on up. And uh, I, may, I may include a little bit of sphagnum into the mix uh, so it'll retain more moisture because a lot of these roots are going to kind of go in shock and die once we plant it in dirt because this guy's just been sitting in a cup of water its whole life and so when we go throw him in dirt he's gonna be like what the crap's going on and you're gonna get some root loss so sometimes I'll take sphagnum 
if I don't have a tremendous amount of roots that I know I can just kind of sacrifice, I'll take sphagnum and wrap it around the roots and then plant it um, in, in soil. Or sometimes um, I'll leave it in pure sphagnum and then uh, I'll go to all soil. But this guy's got a lot of roots. I'm probably just going to go to straight dirt with him and keep the dirt uh, moist, um, more on the moist side, and then gradually kind of wean it off to where I can get it back to a drier soil. So this guy was ready. And so you can see we planted him and he's doing fantastic. So there's our new stem going up and then he's, that's probably right there going to turn into uh, our, our first leaf. Isn't that cool? Look at that nice variegation in there. It's beautiful. This is going to be a really nice one. He'll be ready for sale here pretty soon. Um, I've given them all names just so I can keep them straight. This one's Isabel. And so if you are interested in purchasing one of these elbows from us, uh, what you need to do is go to our Facebook page, Grassroots Yard Supply, and send us a message, and we will add your name to the list. Uh, just a way we can do it, kind of be fair, and uh, um, you know, do it in order. It doesn't mean you have to buy it if your name's on the list. It just means you get first crack at one of these plants. If you don't want to buy it, that's fine. We'll just move on to the next person on the list, and then you know they can have the opportunity. So, uh, I, one other thing I wanted to show y'all on this top cutting, I haven't had a whole lot of. Uh, development uh, from that uh, axillary bud. So what I'm going to do, there's a hormone called Kiki Paste that we use in orchid production to make new orchids, and it's a, it's a growth hormone stimulant. I'm going to try to put a little Kiki Paste on there, see if I can't get that, that bud to go ahead and do its thing and come on out and make us a new plant. So I'll video that too, and we'll kind of watch that together and see if it makes any any real difference um, let's see here's one really busting open so uh, it's been a neat learning experience with these things i love this kind of stuff because i am a huge plant nerd um, so it's been fun and it's probably neat too just to see what's gonna you know what it's gonna turn out to to be what's that leaf gonna be you know, some monsteras are what they call half moon, and it's one side will be white and one side will be green, and those are highly sought after, and every once in a while we'll get one to kick out a leaf like that. But they're just a beautiful plant, and I'm happy that we, uh, we've got a good many of them that we'll be able to offer for sale and so other folks can, can enjoy them as well. So I think that's about it. If you got any questions or comments, then uh, you know, put them in the, the little comment section below, and... I try to get to all of them uh, when I can and, and write back. And also, if I said anything that you disagree with, or just maybe I simply don't know, put that down there too. And uh, we certainly appreciate you guys watching. And if you hit that like and subscribe down there, we really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. And um, until the next video, happy gardening to you. And I'll put a few little clips on right now of some of the other plants out in the greenhouse. And... Uh, Y'all take care. We'll see ya. Uh,